Good morning, children. Good morning, sir. How are you all? Good morning, sir. Okay. Let me begin with some questions. Are you interested for some questions? Yes, sir. Okay, my questions are, how many seasons are there in India? Three seasons. Three seasons are there. Yes, sir. What are they? Monsoon. Yes, you? Rainy season? Winter season? Summer season. Oh, okay. So these seasons are there in our country. What are the speciality of uh, these seasons? Suppose in monsoon season there will be a lot of rain. rain. And in uh, winter, cold. Cold. Hot. Okay. So these are the speciality. So children, we are going to study today the poem titled "On the Grass of Our and Cricket." Let me write here. On the Cross of her and cricket. 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 This poem also tells you something about seasons. What it? And this poem is written by John Keats. Who is the writer? John Keats. Let me tell you a little bit about the John Keats. Great poet. So this poet was born in October thirty first, seventeen ninety five, and died in February twenty three. In uh, 1821. So you can see his uh, lifespan was very short. He was only, or he lived only for 25 years. He was born in London, that is in England. He was a great poet. He is regarded as one of the greatest English poet. He was popularly known for English romantic poetry. And his lifespan already, I told you, it was only 25 years. Yes or no? So during that time, he had written so many very popular poems. Ode to the Night Angle. Ode to the autumn, ode to the gracious arm, like so many are there. And he died, he was born in London, that is England, and died in Rome. And he, his death was due to tuberculosis. What is tuberculosis? TB. In short, we say it or call it TB. So, this is, all, this is about all uh, about poet of this uh, poem. So, on the grass of a rank, cricket. cricket. Introduction is there in this poem. The ant and the cricket, which tells a story. This is a nature poem. In it, the grass of a and cricket do not appear as characters in a story. So, grass of and cricket. They are not character here. They are rather symbols. Rather they act as symbols is suggesting something else. So these both the creatures are there. They are not character but they are symbols of something else. Read the poem and notice how the poetry of art keeps on through summer and winter in a never ending song. So let us uh, go through this poem. 
and find out about seasons like summer and winter which continues in that some kind of music or song goes out never ends through these seasons that is given here so children let me read this uh, or recite this poem for you the poetry of earth is never dead when all the birds are fed with the hot sun and hide in pulling trees a voice will run from hedge to hedge about the new mown made that is the grasshoppers he takes the lead in summer luxury he has never done with his delights for when tired out with fun he rests at his beneath some pleasant weed the poetry of earth is ceasing never on a lone winter evening when the frost has wrought a silence from the stone there shrills the cricket song in warmth increasing ever and seems to one in drowsiness of lost the grasshoppers among some grassy hills so this is how poem goes it's a very small poem it is in two stanzas uh, for first stanza is little bigger having eight lines and second stanza is a uh, shorter than that smaller and it, it has got six lines so i uh, request our girls to present this poem to recite this poem together and others will follow them one line this group will read and others will follow in a rhythmic manner okay let us start girls the poetry of earth is never dead the poetry of earth is never dead when all the birds are fed with the hot sun when all the birds are fed with the hot sun and hide in pulling trees a voice will run and hide in pulling trees a voice will run from hedge to hedge about the new mown hay from hedge to hedge about the new mown hay that is the grass of us it takes the lead that is the grass of us it takes the lead So, such kind of situation is also there in our 
poem in the beginning. Okay, let us find out. The poetry of earth is never dead. What does it mean? What is the poetry of earth? What is poetry? What is the poetry of earth mean by poet here? Poetry, yes. Poetry of earth means the uh, sound that creates by our insect and our yeah. nature. Is very good, very good. It is actually poetry of earth means different type of voices by different type of creatures. So it goes on. It never ends. Okay. When all the birds are fanned with the hot sun. Just now I showed you the picture. The birds were there. And what happened to these birds? They are all fanned. Fanned means what? What do you understand by fanned? Tired. Yes. Friend means? Tired. Tired. Or exhausted. So all these birds are exhausted or tired due to hot sun. And hide in cooling trees. And so what are they doing now? They are hiding in cooling trees. And that time when these birds, what does it mean? Now birds have stopped singing. Birds have stopped singing. singing. So can we tell that, can we say here the poetry of earth will come to an end? No. 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 Then somebody will start. So here meanwhile something starts there or some other creature starts. A voice will run from hedge to hedge. That time a voice will run from hedge to hedge. What do you mean by hedge children? Yes. Hedge means was row of bushes. Row of bushes. Yes. Row of bushes. Vegetation. Like our fencing. In fencing it is there. So from hedge to hedge. From bushes to bushes. And thereafter about the new morn made. New morn. Morn means cut. Morn means cut. Cut. Mid means meadow means grass land or grass field grass field go from back side huh. Yes, let us continue. So, new morn mid. Understand here? Morn means cut and mid means M E A D. Huh? Mid, middle means grass. Mid. So, what is happening here? Thereafter, when birds are silent, the other creature starts singing. Its voice is moving from hedge to hedge about. Green field, which is newly cut. So you can see here in this manner. See. What do you see in this picture? Hedge. Hedges are there. Okay, from hedge to hedge, there's a creature is there. Now its voice is coming. It is singing. And that will from hedge to hedge and it will go to grass fields all over. Means all over grass fields, in nature, hedges, all the all over the vegetation, this voice will run. This voice will move. So we will hear this voice everywhere. So thereafter, let us. Uh, that is the grasshoppers. So what is going to sing here? Grasshopper. He takes the lead in summer luxury. He has never done. And he takes the lead. Lead means in front or ahead. Be in front or be ahead. So he takes initiation or he begins to sing. To make some kind of voice in summer luxury. 
Summer season is there. Which season is there? Summer season. Summer season, Summer season is there. Now you can see. What is this? This part. It is blossom. This creature, where can we find? In grass. In grass. In grass. In, grass. in hedges. In grassland. This creature we find. Grossa. And it sings. When does it sing? In summer. In summer. So in summer, we find this everywhere. Got it? And it's singing also. We can. Who are not singing now? Birds. Birds are silent. When birds are silent, this creature has started singing all over. From hedges to hedges. And all about grass land. So what is this once again? This is grass land. And this represents what? This represents which season? Summer. Which is symbolic of summer season. Yes or no? It is not straight way only creature. It is not limited to creature. It actually represents or it is symbolic of summer season. Okay. So summer luxury means summer pleasure. What is there? Has never done with his delight. Never done. Done means what? Finished. Finished. Delight. Pleasure. Pleasures or happiness. So he has never finished with his pleasures, with his uh, happiness, with his delights. Means what does it mean? When it keeps on singing, it gets happiness in. Singing. It enjoys singing. Then, for when tired out with fun, he rests at ease beneath some pleasant wind. But when the creature is tired, earlier gods were tired, now this creature also will become tired. When this creature is tired, which creature we are talking about? Grasshopper. Grasshopper. This when grasshopper is tired, he is also going to rest. To rest at ease. At ease means relaxed. At ease means relaxed. At ease means he is going to rest in a relaxed manner. Got it? Beneath some pleasant wind. Beneath. Beneath means? Beneath. Under. What is the meaning of beneath? Under. Under. And another word is there. Pleasant. Pleasant means? Nice. Nice, nice or good. Weed. Weed means? Plant. Plant. Weed means plant. White plant we can say. White plant. White plant. So, when this creature grasshopper is tired of singing, after some time it is also going to rest. And where is uh, it uh, going to rest? Please, 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 please. In some pleasant weed. In some grass, unwanted grass. Somewhere it will go and take rest. That means it is tired, it is going to stop its singing, its voice will not be heard thereafter. Understood? Yes, yes sir. Now let us uh, drill the words and meanings. Let us find out what is the meaning of friend? Tired. Hedge. Roses. Mown. Cut. Mead. What is in the beginning? The, uh, 
Yeah, birds are singing, but are tired due to sun. And where are they resting? They are resting in the trees. Now in the pulling tree. Then after what happens? Grasshopper starts singing. What is the season now? Summer. So it continues. Then after what happens? Grasshopper also gets tired. And then it takes rest. Where does it takes rest? Present. Understood all of you? Yes, sir. Is it clear? Yes, sir. So, can I ask some questions on this? Yes, sir. Okay. What is never dead? The poetry of art. Yes, you have answered. The poetry of art is never dead. The poetry of art is never dead. Where do the birds take shelter? Yes, you. They hide in a cooling place. They hide in the cooling place. Why do the birds take shelter in trees? Yes, you. Because of the hot sun. Because of hot sun. Very good. Who sings the poetry of earth in summer? Yes, you. Grasshoppers. Grasshoppers sings sir, the poetry of earth in summer. summer. Where does the grasshopper take rest? Yes, you. In under the pleasant tree. Have you understood first uh, stanza? Is it clear to you? Yes, sir. Okay. So you have given uh, very nice uh, answers on the questions. And we have also studied uh, words and meanings. We have drilled. And I hope you have understood words and meanings. That is also very important to remember. Let us have quiz on words and meanings, whatever we have learned in this first stand. Are you prepared for quiz? Yes, yes sir. Okay, let us have quiz. And group wise, I will ask. Four groups are there. So, one group will get one question. Anybody can from the group answer. But, no problem. Others group, when your turn comes, that time. So whatever words uh, we studied now, let us uh, have quiz on that. First word for the first group that is friend. What is the meaning of friend? Tired. Yes? Tired. Tired. Any other word for this? Unconscious. Unconscious. Okay. Any other? From first group. Let us find out how many words you can give on uh, this word. Okay. Nice two words they have given. Next word, let us move on to group two. Hedge. What is the meaning of hedge? Bushes. 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 Row of bushes. Any any other meaning? Small plants. Small plants. Okay. Small plants in a row. Small plants in a row. Nice. Okay, correct. That is correct meaning. Then another word was there. Meadow. Group number. Three. What is the meaning of meadow? Grass fins. Grass fins. Very good. Any other word? Possible? Any other group? Yes. You are asking. Uh, uh? Grassland. Grassland. Okay. That is correct. And thereafter, delight. Delight. Group number four. What is the meaning of delight? Pleasures. 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 Uh, some more words are there. Let us find out their meaning. Group number one, once again. Binet. What is the meaning of binet? Under. Under. Okay, nice. Answer. Weed, group number two. Plants. Small plants, small plants. Unwanted plants. Okay, nice sir. 
answers you have given and I think uh, you understood the vocabulary too. Can you use these words in your own sentence? If you use these words in your own sentence, you will understand them in better manner and will be in position to use them. Possible? Yes, sir. Okay, so let us try this also. Uh, friend, group number one, can you use in your own sentence? Dry, simple sentence. Group number two also, anybody? Yes? I was going to school. I was spent because of hot sun. Yeah. When I went to school, I got fan in the hot sun. Okay, nice. Edge. Group number one. Can you use this one in your own sentence? In garden there are very beautiful hedges. Yeah, in garden there are very beautiful hedges. Ah, very beautiful hedges. Okay. Widow. Group number three. Possible. Yes. In park, you know, there is very good widow. Yeah. Near park, there is very pleasant widow. Okay. In that widow, generally cattle graze. Delight. This group, delight. Anybody? Yes, delight. I have been in a, one competition that 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 why I was delighted. Yeah, I was very delighted to take part in competition. What she wanted to say. Very nice. Okay. Then last one. Uh, another is there. Binet. Binet. Who can use? Binet. Ah, yes. There is a pouch beneath the table. There is the table. Pouch. 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 There is the pouch beneath the, the table. table. Under the table. There is something under the table. table. Okay. Weed. Last one. Yes, weed. There are so many weeds in field. Yeah, there are so different types of weeds in the field. Okay, so in this manner, we have completed today's lesson. One stanza is completed and in next class, we shall continue with next stanza. Okay, children? Yes, and your homework is that you have to write summary of this stanza. You have to write in your own words. You have to write this stanza in your own words. Okay, clear? Yes, so this sir. class happened for you. If any doubt is there, you can ask on this. Yes, okay, thank you for today.